This week at Cartoon Club, we did the Happening Hive. So that here, I'll show you one of the hives that I created. We've got our queen and our larva and our little guards. Anyways, I thought it'd be fun if I showed you how I draw some bees. So what you'll need is pencil. I outline in a black marker. You can do that or not. If you do that, you want a rubber to erase off your pencil lines. And I've grabbed four colors. I'm, I've got a light orange, yellow, and a purple and a turquoise. You can have other colors than that, but you'll see how I work those into the picture and I'll tell you why I use those colors afterwards. Okay, so to start with, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a beef line. I'm gonna do a really simple one. And I'm gonna start by doing my oval shape. So I think I'm gonna do it on a little bit of an angle. I'm gonna make her flying upwards, I think. So that's gonna be her body. And then I'm going to do another circle on top, overlapping these two. That is going to be her head. And I'm making it almost as wide as my oval because I want her to kind of be like one big kind of fat bee. Then I'm going to put on top a couple of, this is all about circles, a couple of circles on top of this circle, on top of her head. I'm going to give her big eyes because I want her to look quite expressive and um, I think big round eyes will look quite nice doing that. And for her wings, I'm not going to make them big. I'm, I'm making these a little bit less realistic. So I'm going to also do two circles on top of my oval. These are, believe it or not, going to be her wings. I'm exaggerating the sort of round feeling of the bumblebee in this character. That's why I'm making everything round. And they have four little legs. So I'm going to draw four little circles down here. These two will be, I'll connect and those will be her front legs. And then two more circles down here. Those will be her little back legs. And I'd like a stinger. So that I'm gonna go do a little triangle at the base of this, of that oval. That will be her stinger. And I'm going to add uh, two more little circles at the top here. These are going to be her little, little antenna. So not too far from my circle that is my head. That's about as far as I'm going to go with my outlining. Oh, I may actually, I'm going to do a couple little round lines here, connecting in the little feet circles with her body. So here, basically I'm giving myself just enough to then come in and start doing my outline. One other thing, sorry, two other things I want to do before I start with my fine liner is I will do another circle here, circle within the circle that is her eye, okay? I'm gonna add in where I think her pupil's gonna be and I'm making them her cartoon eyes quite large. So another good sized circle within the circle that are her eyes. And I'm gonna indicate a bit where I think her mouth will be, a little smile right there. Okay, perfect. That's all I need to do. Now I'm grabbing my fine liner and I'm going to start. I mean there are other parts to it. There, there's also her stripes but I'll, I'll get to those. The first thing I start with are her eyes because if I fail with the eyes then that's it for my picture in my opinion. I like the eyes to be not absolutely always but usually the biggest and most important feature. So I outline my circle on the outside, my circle on the inside, and I'm going to do a little half moon here. It's going to be the little highlight in her eye. I'm going to give her little lashes, 
I want some detail in these eyes because they're an important feature. Now I'm going to outline her head. It's that circle. Perfect. And antennas can come in next. It's not critical what I do next, I don't think, but I that the antennas will add expression to her. I'm trying to do all of the parts that are giving her her look. So I got eyes, antennas, mouth. Now I'm going to come in and do the body. And I'm actually going straight through those wings. And I'm only going to draw in the top half of the wings as if they're just literally a half circle. Now she needs her, uh, she needs her legs, so I'm going around them and I'm doing the outside. I'm drawing them almost as if they look like a little um, comma, you know. So around the outside of the leg, stop, go around the circle that is the foot, and back. Those are little upside down commas on her. I could have drawn them more simply, but I think a little bit of detail there is nice because, see, she's quite simple in her body. There's her stinger. Now, I need a few more details in here. I'm going to draw on some stripes. I'm going to follow basically the shape of her uh, head. So the same kind of angle for doing the stripes. And that's it. I think I'm going to add one other little detail. I'm just gonna do a few little marks as if this is the little spirally path that she's on. Okay, grab my rubber. Hopefully my pen is dry. And rub off those marks. Ooh, one more little detail. So what I what I look at at this point is, do I have enough balance between big shapes and small shapes? I think I do. I like that most of the focus is on her eyes. Most of the detail is, is in her eyes. There's the pupil plus the little highlights and the eyelashes. So there's quite a bit of focus here. The body's fairly big and simple. Those will be big shapes to color. And I also think the wings are, I've made them really simple, but they're an important feature. So I'm adding a little bit of detail in here. It also gives me something more to color into when I start coloring her. Plus I've repeated, if you'll see, the shape of her antenna. See, there's a line with a circle, but in a slightly different way. So that gives her a bit more, um, a little bit of detail, but it still repeats some of the shapes that are already in the picture. Now I'm just gonna lay on a little bit of color. I like to always start by doing my colors light so I decide how things are going to look as I go through. So I think that's probably enough yellow and I've got it. I'm going to grab my orange. Maybe I'll stick that here on this stripe. I'm not going to make her totally realistic. That's why I've grabbed turquoise and purple. I think it'll make her look a bit more fun. So the other thing is, I mean, I could have had more realistic colors, but by doing this, so I've got, by having like a turquoise and a, and a purple, just lay in some of those first, I'll put the purple in this stripe. And again, I'm keeping it light because I don't want to darken it down just yet. I want to be able to 
decide where emphasis should be and where it doesn't need to be as I go along. All right, I'm going to grab the orange. I think I'm actually make her, I feel like I need orange somewhere else. I'm gonna, going to do a layer of orange at the back too. That's perfect. I like that. Okay, now I'm going to grab my purple. Her eyes are an important feature, so I'm going to want those to be dark, I think, and I want them to contrast. I could have used turquoise, that probably would have looked good too, but I'm going with purple. Since she's predominantly yellow, well, her whole head is yellow, purple's a compliment, so it will contrast really nicely. I'm going to darken down my yellow a little bit, going around the edge of her head. And I'm going to add some darker yellow around her eyes. I want to start to see how these look as I exaggerate them a little bit. So that is another layer around there, maybe a bit around the top of her head. Okay, I'm going to layer in a bit of yellow on top of this orange. I like to blend colors, so. And maybe on top of this section of orange too. And I don't want these necessarily to look exactly the same, these two sections of yellowish orange. Now let's get something on to her other features. So we've got her little antennas. I feel like I need more turquoise somewhere, so let's, let's see what happens if I color those turquoise. Now I'm starting to color a little bit darker and give myself a bit of contrast. I think actually I could do her, I think I need to darken the eyes first of all. Let's darken down the purple in those. And that should make them stand out a bit more. And then I will see what color starts to feel out of balance. So see how now she's starting, that's starting to pop out a bit. I like that. And it's showing a nice contrast with my yellow. I like that too. I think the dark, the purple needs to be darkened down here. I'm not gonna go the whole way. I'm just gonna darken under her belly of this stripe that's already purple. So it starts to make her look a little bit round and maybe on this edge too. That will round her out. Now I still have wings, stinger and legs. So what's out of balance? I think the turquoise needs to be darkened down here a bit. Again, to give me shape. I don't need to do all of it, but a bit, a bit at the bottom, a bit at the top, round that out. All right, now I start to ask myself, is this enough? I feel like I need the turquoise one other place. It may look good. What if I just outlined part of the wing? Maybe I just do a little outline at the base, a base of, at the base of the wing, and maybe just a little, a little outline up that line that I made. Or I could do a really light, light, light layer of turquoise, maybe even just over one wing. Maybe I don't need it over both. Let's see what happens then. I'll leave that at that. Do I have enough turquoise? Probably. I think actually I don't have quite enough orange. So maybe her legs need to be orange. I'll try that out. Yeah, okay, I like that. Yeah, doing those pretty dark. Yeah. And I think I will also darken down part of this stripe, just the bottom part again, adding a bit of round feeling to her. Maybe, I had outlined these, her eyes, I'd done a little bit of a outline there in the yellow. I'm gonna add a bit more, a bit of the orange just that should give it a bit more uh, roundness in the face. Her little head here. 
And I think I'm getting there. What's left? Stinger. Uh, maybe turquoise. And does it need to be dark? Maybe I just hit line there. Yeah, actually, I think maybe dark would look good. Because then I have the dark turquoise antennas and then her dark stinger. It's kind of a nice balance and it brings, brings your eye along. And I think I've got that in enough places too. And finally, I think I can probably show a little bit of color along her path in some orange. And that's it. That's my bee. Happy with that? Okay. If you want to learn more, you can join me at Cartoon Club online. And um, yeah, hope to see you there.